Hey guys, Lucky Cap Gaming here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we did some shrines, found this place, and yeah, that's about it, I guess. This time, we're heading out. Up north. Ooh, and my foot fell asleep. That, ooh, ouch. I'll just let this slide. All right. Whoa, that is some very smooth terrain. Wow. Oh boy, fight. Okay, I better put this away. Uh. Oh. Oh, I don't have a shield equipped. Right, because it broke after I did that awesome trick. Thanks. I might have bit off more than I could shoot with that one. I don't have much, but take it. It's yours. Oh, a monster extract. So you're probably wondering what that stuff is. It's called Monster Extract. A guy named Keen brews this stuff up at the Fang and Bone. It's a kind of flavoring that makes any food taste amazing. I know it's made of monsters, but it's good stuff. There's some weird stories going around about that... Or, Kilton. That Kilton character. He's obsessed with monsters. Say so he does all kinds of hair-raising research with them and came up with a bunch of strange stuff as a result. I kind of wanted to meet him at least once to see if the rumors are true, but he's a hard guy to track down. One source I trust says that he's often found at a skull-shaped lake in Nikala, but I don't know the place. So, like, does anyone have a map? I'd seriously like to know this, because it's like... Well, I don't know, I mean, you got some people who know stuff, and some people who don't know stuff. It's weird. Guess it all just depends on what kind of materials you got on you. Ooh. That mountain looks nice. Just ride right along the trail. So, as I just found out re quite recently, apparently the Nintendo, well, the Nintendo Wii Shop channel has officially shut down. Which, uh, yeah, big loss, really. I mean, I've never really used it too much. I only got, I only ever bought two things on it. It was Mario Party 2 and Super Smash Bros. 64. Which, if you guys remember, if you guys watched the Brawl Let's Play and how I finished it off, you definitely know that I was definitely in a, a bit of a need for that Smash Brothers gameplay. But, uh, yeah, this was definitely a good way to get it. Smash 64, I mean. It was definitely, like, three times less as many characters, but I enjoyed it. It was such an incredible, like, pick-me-up to the whole series. Just, well, not to the whole series, but, like, it really... Where? Oh, he's over there. There we go, we got him. Okay. But as I was saying, Smash 64 is like... It was the game I played so much after uh, Brawl just kind of quit on me. It was also because, like, Smash for Wii U wasn't even out yet. So I was like, jeez, how... How am I going to pass the, all this time? I don't even think I had a Wii U. That's how late this, late, or like early on this was. 
So, we went to GameStop one day, got some Nintendo, we got about like, I want to say it was uh, 2,000 points in Wii Shop credits, and we just, uh, well, I looked through what I wanted to, oh, yikes, it's gold. Uh, hmm. Yeah, don't really recall this section, so we're just gonna have to... Oh, no! Um, hey. Good work. Good work making it this far. If you're going north of here, don't forget to bring warm clothes! <laughs> would you like to browse my selection of specialty mushroom? No, Connie, I would like food or something so that way I don't die of hypothermia. Thanks, I guess. Alright, if I don't make it through this area fast enough, I'm dead. Why am I even going this way? Sheesh, I just gotta ride through the... Wait, well, I gotta ride through this tundra before I succumb to hypothermia. I, yeah, that's a stable. Alright. As long as I can make it to that stable, I should be able to make something that can help me with this cold weather. Until I can find some permanent equipment. Alright, just stay by this fire, stay warm. Alright. Okay. It's right over here, I think. Yep. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now, we just gotta make the proper goods. Okay, let's take... Uh, actually, can I, like, uh... No, that ain't it, chief. Okay. One of these. Oh, okay. No, wait. Uh, hold. No, wait. How do I subtract? I'd like to know that. Mm -hmm. Cold resistance. Um. Hmm. Looks to be stent of things. Throw in one more of these, and let's cook. All right. Oh, this will be helpful. This will be helpful. All right. Let's see. I'll hold two of these, two of these, and then how about we try out that monster extract that the girl gave us? Yeah. Result of Hilton's research into monsters. This suspicious spice can be used to punch up dishes while cooking. Apparently can be used to make a number of monstrous meals. Alright, let's give it a shot. And okay, we're gonna cook with this. And, yeah, ten minutes of ice resistance. So, yeah, this is definitely pretty helpful. I've heard that if you get the, if you cook a really good meal with it, like it plays the extra special jingle, then you're going to get something crazy out of it. I just haven't played around with the monster extract long enough. All right. And how about we just throw in an apple for good measure. Okay, we got some... More food. Oh. It really would be a waste if I ate that right now. So I'll just make for this shrine. And then once I'm done with it, I can eat up and it'll be good to explore the icy tundra. I mean, I don't plan on making a whole entire exploration of the tundra in like a couple episodes i just plan on this is merely just something on our path to 
the place where the giant bird is, or the UFO, if you will. Whew. All right, let's see here. Uh, this shrine. I th no, wait. Is this... Okay. Don't... No, wait. This is it. This is it. Directing the wind. Yeah. Okay. This one. Oh, this one. I really like this one. Alright. So, you've got all of this wind going around. And what you gotta do is that you gotta use these metal blocks to block off the wind. So that way, when you try to solve the puzzle, the ball won't be pushed out of the way. Alright, block it off like so. Okay. So we just get up here. Drop the ball. Roll down the hill. Now, just watch the magic happen. Ball rolls around everywhere, gets blown by the wind up there. Then it'll fail to cross the bridge. Okay. Um, yeah, that was not quite planned. So if I just place it here, I think that should give me enough. Actually, I might not have enough time to get back up here. Yeah, it's already up there. Jeez. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I made it. Oh, man, we actually made that. Nice. Okay. Now, let's see. We got this gap right here. Now, it does look pretty hard to cross. I do think we're going to need... Yeah. If you want to get across here, you're going to need one of those metal boxes. Which means that we're going to have to do this again. With one key exception. All right, hop up here, just sprint. All right, we're gonna grab this. Hmm? Okay, it's right here, so let's drop it, get ready. All right, pick this up, run up here with it. And should be going in any second now. Yep, it is, so that pushes us that pushes us up. Yeah. Alright, and now we'll push this over here. Oh, a little wobbly. Okay. Um, I would like to push that a bit more centered. There. Yep. And we made it. Very nice indeed. Okay. Now we're gonna run. And to the end. Ooh. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of God of Silia. Oh, excuse me. I just ate lunch. I offer you this spirit. Yeah, I had a pretty good lunch. It was a uh, turkey and cheese and turkey cheese sandwich. Uh, had a granola bar. Well, not a granola bar. It was a Nature Valley bar. Um, may the goddess smile upon you. Had some iced tea to drink with it. Used some Great Value brand flavoring. Very nice indeed. I made quite the interesting discovery about it it's that you have these two four ounce bottles and you have an eight ounce bottle in the end like the addition made it so that if you just bought two four ounce bottles it was one penny cheaper and me being so proud in this discovery decided hey maybe i maybe i could ask if i could get it so i asked and we got it and yeah definitely I use it like every night. I got it in like October and I'm only like just now about to run out. So yeah, definitely is a 
great value. What could I say? Uh, hmm, while we're still here, I think I'll just go around. Uh, why do some people equate the unnecessary pursuit of power with some childish dream of adventure? That sword may be good for slaying monsters, sure, but it's not like a sword alone makes a hero, you know? I love adventure. Uh, oh, I guess you did venture all the way out here to a, out to a stable in the mountains, didn't you? Oh. Must be so great. You do know what I'm talking about, right? Of course. I knew you would. It's every dreamer's dearest dream, isn't it? Having a sword that shoots a light all, like, wham, and mows down all kinds of monsters, like, kapow, would be amazing. I mean, even the name, the sword that seals the darkness, is just the coolest thing ever. Yeah, so... Why don't we show him the sword that shield the the sword that like that the sword that seals the darkness uh -huh. must be so great. Of course, um, uh, does is this a guy who cares? This sword here? Oh. Huh? That's the sword that seals the darkness. I can't believe it. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Okay, I see. Hmm. Honestly, it's a tad slimmer than I expected. Since it's the legendary sword, I thought it would be as big as me, with, like, jewels everywhere. It's still amazing, though. I can feel the power. Hey, thanks for showing that to me. I'll never forget this day. Huh? And do you... Oh, I can't do much to help, but I'll keep the stable clean and tidy, so please come... Oh, okay, so she just heard what we were talking about. Jesus, it's still cold in here. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be sticking around much longer. I'll just grab these wild berries and make her way out of here. Hmm. Say, the tower. Yeah, the tower's right over there. Why don't we uh, eat up and then head out? We'll just eat this. Alright, watch out for the fire, and let's get going. Man, it just looks so awesome holding the Master Sword at your side while you ride on a horse. So yeah, not really sure if I finished my whole Super Smash Bros. 64 story, but yeah. It was the next step for me after Super Smash Bros. Brawl, simply because, you know, they didn't have Super Smash Bros. Brawl anymore, technically, so it was definitely quite the pastime. I'd, I, I'd say when I got it, whenever I'd get home from school, I would just, well, maybe not whenever I'd get home from school, but like later on after supper and all that, I'd boot it up and... I'd always make my own story up with, like, the 12 characters. Like, oh, and Ness, Ness has to fight Donkey Kong. It feels a good amount of stories involved in Ness. And, like, oh, Ness fought Donkey Kong. Now, he has to go up against Captain Falcon. It was, it was very, it was a childish delight, to say the least. Hmm, Hello. Yeah, so, if you want to get to the top of the Heber Tower, what you're going to have to do is make some sort of fire. Fortunately, we have just what we need. Okay, hold one of these, and then... Let's see, do I have a... Well, I guess I'll just use flint. Won't really hurt. We've got a bit more. <laughs> Using the Master Sword... To start a fire. Now that is a good use. So I just use the torch. Melt this all down. You don't even have to melt it all the way. Just enough so that way you can slip on through. And you didn't even have to melt it, really. You could have just did the chili pepper trick and... Or spicy pepper. Well, excuse... Aw, oh, man. I can't believe I forgot to use spicy peppers in the mixture. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just used sunshrooms and the 
wild cephalina is that what it's called i don't know but yeah oh we could see that uh, thundercloud from earlier shrine uh tower should be somewhere over there yeah man it's always so fun to just look back on where you've been venturing and just be like yeah i was there i did that but, yeah. I mean, we didn't go into the thundercloud or anything, but, you know, it was still a pretty neat seeing that behind the tower in that region and all that, so. Yeah. yeah now we just overlook this area and yeah the village should be somewhere below us but not entirely sure where it's definitely going to be more well from where we're standing uh hmm. hard to tell what's north and what's west from this perspective so once this cutscene's over you know Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, check the map. Hmm. Turns out, we might just be heading to that tower after all. Yeah, so Derek's right here. Uh, the village should be, like, somewhere around here. So if this is the north, if I look this direction, there it is. Right over there. So, in retrospective, that is the village. That is the tower. So, hmm, there's also a shrine right over there. Now, that is difficult. See, we could go for the tower. and I mean, that would be a pretty good idea, considering that would give us, like, all of the land data. How are we on land data, anyhow? We just got one... Two, three, four, five. Okay, five more towers to activate, and then we'll have all the map data. Yeah, man, things are coming along nicely. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, seems we'll be making our way for the Rito Village. That's the name of the place, by the way. See you guys then.